Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Today I want to talk about natural bodybuilding, why I decided to compete with the IMBF and hopefully in the future the WMBF and why I think that local athletes as well as other athletes across the world should be trying to compete in fully tested shows instead of competing with untested counterparts in untested shows. Follow me today throughout this day. I'll give you guys some you know, pros and cons, some benefits of competing in natural shows, specifically the INBF. Let's take a look. So the first reason that natural athletes should be competing in fully tested organizations is that it's a level playing field. To a certain extent, natural athletes can compete against unnatural athletes, right? So maybe at the local level, provincial level, but you go any farther than that, and the requirements of most athletes are that you are enhanced because the physique that they want you to achieve is not achievable naturally and that's just the way it is. Taking drugs gives you an advantage over not taking drugs. That's why people take drugs when they train. It gives them an advantage. There's a study in the, in the New England Journal of Medicine, 1996 I think, where they had four groups. One was a natural group that didn't take any drugs, didn't do any training. Uh, there was a natural training group. There was a testosterone only group, 600 milligrams per week. There was a testosterone and training group and they all went through the trial. At the end of the trial, the drugs and training group put on about 14 pounds. The training only group put on four. So already there you can see that there's a significant advantage to taking hormones. But the drugs only group put on more lean body mass than the training only group. So they put on about six pounds. So about 50% more muscle mass taking drugs versus just training. Studies designed could play into that as well. The type of training they did, all that kind of stuff. But bottom line, we all know this, drugs work. They give you an advantage over not taking drugs. So if you wanna compete as a natural athlete and you wanna be up against other athletes of the same caliber, on the same playing field, compete with the INBF, the WNBF. We have deterrence in place, urinalysis, polygraph testing. In all likelihood, most of the athletes on stage are going to be banned substance free, so you can rest assured that you'll be competing against athletes of a similar caliber as you. There's other variables that are gonna determine how developed someone is, and those are training age, genetic, training programs, discipline, consistency, nutrition, all that kind of stuff, but at least you're on a level playing field. So that's reason number one, the level playing field uh, offered by the IMBF and the WMBF for athletes. So the next thing I want to talk about is money. A lot of people compete in the untested shows because they think they're going to be Mr. Olympia and make millions of dollars. Besides the fact that you have to start taking drugs at a really young age, start training really young, have great genetics and lock out many times in your life to be that one person who's making millions of dollars from bodybuilding. The reality is that most people will not make any money from bodybuilding. However, you have much better shot at making money from bodybuilding in natural bodybuilding. If you win the overall in an INBF show, it could be your first show, you win your WNBF Pro card. And WNBF Pro shows pay money, top three. Uh, depending on the size of the show, you're looking at uh, you know 500 bucks US to 2,500 bucks US. That could be on your second show. You know, if you're a good athlete, great genetics, good work ethic, you've been training for a long time, you win the overall, you go on, you get your WMBF Pro card, you go compete somewhere like uh, Edmonton, Alberta, or Sacramento, California, and you win a show you can win some money. So uh, I always encourage athletes that are natural, 
if that's one of the things that we're wanting to do. Compete in a natural show, in the natural leagues, and you have a chance to win some legit money to pay for your trip. Because at the end of the day, most of us compete because we enjoy it, because we have a passion for the sport, we like improving our physiques. Bottom line, a little extra money goes a long way when you spend as much time in the gym, on your nutrition, spending money on supplements and food and all that fun stuff. Point number two is money. Money, money, money. So the next thing we can talk about is stage time. I've done a couple untested shows and you get 30 seconds, two minutes on stage. Um, natural shows have a lot less athletes, um, which means that they gotta make up the time for the athletes on stage by giving them, you know, I've spent 20 minutes on stage for pre-judging, uh, 15 minutes on stage or longer if there's an overall for finals. Uh, I've done several overalls where they just pose you forever and then you do a pose down. So that's another benefit. So, so stage time. So on the note of more stage time, I've done shows, provincial shows, where if you don't place in the top five, you don't get to do your routine. Now, something that is unfortunate is that not everyone is gonna win. Not everyone's gonna place. People are entering shows knowing that they're not gonna place, but they're still training for three months, for six months. They're still practicing their routines every day. And the fortunate things about smaller shows like the INBF, the WNBF shows, uh, that are growing but are still much smaller than the untested shows is that you get more stage time, you get to do your routine, you get to show off all that hard work uh, instead of just getting two minutes on stage. So all that extra stage time uh, makes you a better athlete, makes you better at, at the sport, at bodybuilding because practice makes perfect so that for your next show, you know, if, you, if you've done three shows and each show you spent two minutes on stage, you say you've had six minutes of stage time versus if you do, do three shows and you spend 20 minutes on stage and you've got an hour of stage time, uh, you just get more comfortable being on stage, you, you know, you, you learn to relax when you're on stage and uh, you get to, again, show off all that hard work after three months, six months, you know, 12 months, whatever your prep is, it's just, just so much better to be able to show that off and enjoy it. More stage time. The last reason to compete naturally, IMBF, WMBF, is longevity. Being able to participate in a sport that you can do from any age until any age. I met a guy in Calgary, he was on his 108th show. This is a sport that I've taken up in my 30s that I could see myself doing at 50, 60, you know, there's 70 year old natural bodybuilders and you know, lifting weights, eating healthy, this keeps you, this keeps you young, right? There's no drastic changes in body composition. There's no drastic, you know, changes in mental health and things like that that are associated with drug use. Our bodies just kind of evolve over time, slowly adding muscle over decades, slowly getting better at being more conditioned show to show. You know, we have these little creatures here that we want to be around for in 10, 20, 30 years. So natural bodybuilding is a sport that you can honestly promote health and participate in, right? You can live a lifestyle and openly and honestly tell your clients what you do and promote it and teach them how to follow it as well. When there's no drugs involved, it's all about longevity. It's about the long game. It's about putting on muscle mass over time and then dieting down show to show and trying to bring better conditioning. I've done eight natural bodybuilding shows. I've won six out of eight bodybuilding shows. I'm still not a pro in the WNBF, but that's the, that's the end goal. And each show, I've gotten leaner and leaner and leaner. 
The goal being to bring to the next show my leanest package yet uh, while maintaining as much muscularity as possible. Benefit of natural bodybuilding is we try to use a science-based, evidence-based approach because we don't have that extra edge. We don't have the drugs and we have to be as scientific as possible. Maintain every inch of muscle to try and peel off every little bit of fat. And you actually notice that at the pro level, most of the natural bodybuilders are as conditioned, if not more conditioned than a lot of the pros are. Natural bodybuilding is about longevity, it's about health, it's about the long game, and it's about being able to do this when you're 50, 60, 70, competing as masters, right? There's no there's no limit. There's no there's no expiration date with natural bodybuilding. You can do it as long as you want to do it, as long as you've still got that passion to do it, as long as you've got something to prove, natural bodybuilding is there for you. So I hope to see you guys at our next natural bodybuilding show here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, May 12th, 2018. The Winnipeg Naturals will be at the gas station theater um, hit like share this video let everyone know that you compete naturally that you want to compete naturally if you want more information about natural bodybuilding head over to inbfcanada.com you can see what the events are all about what the rules are the testing some of the pros stuff like that at the end of the day we're all in this together we're all in this for health so share the video like the video subscribe i'll see you guys in the gym thanks